Hello friends, welcome to the edition of uh, Powerful Words and understanding the real meaning behind the powerful words. The words that we speak in our language, day-to-day -day language and how the true meaning of these words shape our business and also change our life. Today we will be discussing about some of the very powerful words starting with alphabet R. Let's continue our journey. Well friends, the first word on our list today is raise. Well, raise is such an important and meaningful word. We use it several times during the day and uh, it basically uh, gives us a little bit of hope, little bit of direction. Now, raise can be used in multiple ways. One of the way to use raise as a word is basically to increase the, uh, say for example, raise, salary increase. Uh, you can also raise the uh, particular uh, threshold for your targets and stuff like that. So basically raise is a word which is used uh, where you want to increase certain thresholds. You want to increase the money. You want to increase the effort levels. You want to uh, increase anything. Now how does it affect, as a, uh, affect us in our company and in our real life? It's basically when you're raising the bar of quality, of commitment, of rightfulness of righteousness these are the good quality that rays can help you understand in real world and that is why it's a very powerful word which can if you understand the true meaning behind rays you can improve your quality of uh, how you basically handle other people and basically set up a higher goals for yourself so to understand true meaning which will be useful for your business, for yourself, for your character. You have to continue to think about raising the standards. And therefore, it's a very powerful word. What next? The next word is rapo. Now, the rapo is uh, again uh, is a word which is used, but not uh, on a daily basis, not in a everyday uh, life language. But if you are a businessman, you will be thinking about building a rapport with your business partner, building a rapport with your employees, with your teammates, building a rapport with your client, building the rapport with uh, the audience. So rapport is it's like creating a perception. It's uh, when you basically present yourself in public and you expect certain perception to be created and therefore, there are different techniques to build the rapport. So, again, rapport is a very powerful word. The true meaning behind, if you understand, you will be able to use right techniques to build the right type of rapport with the target audience. Now, you know, uh, it is not so simple. Your image, your perception is uh, sometimes uniform and sometimes it is not uniform because the target audience keeps changing. So therefore, smart people, smart leaders, they actually build a uniform rapport which cut across all strata of society. So, for example, if uh, the best masters uh, around, uh, uh, you know, the people who know how to build rapport are the politicians because their image, uh, their perception or the image is uh, everlasting and uh, it cut across all strata of uh, society. It cut across the, uh, uh, you know, people who are middle class, it also cut across uh, the industrialists. So therefore, understanding the true meaning of rapport, then utilizing that true meaning so that you can modify the perception that you are sending, the signals that you're sending out to others is very important. I mean, nobody wants to send wrong signals to other people, right? You want to send the right signal. And therefore, creating rapport leads to building your personality in such a way that the people start understanding you or basically mapping you with that mindset. And therefore, rapport is a very powerful word. Reach out. 
another very powerful word starting with r very simple this is a word which is used every day uh, maybe 40 times a day reach so as a leader as a ceo you must have habit of reaching out to your team members and when, when i say reach out it's basically reaching out to them understanding what problems they are facing um, in case they have they are stuck your responsibility is to help them and you uh, uh, reach out to them and help them so that they can uh, get decluttered and achieve their targets and uh, similarly uh, when no work is uh, associated still you should be able to reach out to them and that is why understanding how you can reach out to people is also very important and that is why i am including this word reach in the powerful word category and it's uh, it's a very powerful word but understanding the true meaning is important rejoice uh, you should always uh, be happy uh, for simple things in life you should feel very happy very because you know uh, it's very difficult to be happy uh, in the sense that if some people are not happy then they will always be opposite side of uh, not not being happy is being uh, in a gloomy mood but that is a negative uh, trait so i think the habit of rejoicing has to be inculcated come what may you should always be happy and that is what the trick is all about the true meaning of uh, understanding rejoicing is something you have to develop your personality in that form where you are always happy whether you have achieved a small success or not achieved a success but you have learned some difficult lessons and you are rejoicing so to understand the true meaning of rejoicing is to basically be happy and i think all leaders will agree with me that uh, it is directly linked to your previous word which is uh, basically building a perception so rejoicing you are always in happy mood and uh, you should always be happy is also creating a perception where you are uh, sending uh, the signal to the other person that you are happy go lucky so when you say that i am a happy go lucky person it doesn't mean anything until unless you really are so that is why it is important for all of us to understand the true meaning of rejoice and at the same time you have to be very strong so strong that you should be able to take anything that falls on you and you should not feel that hey i am helpless so robust another word now robust is uh, is uh, something which is uh, different from strong or strength robust is something that you are strong but you can take anything which is thrown at you and that is what the robust is all the superheroes are not strong but they are robust and uh, this is one true meaning that we have to basically build and most of it has to be uh, the robustness lies in your mind so your robustness should be the strength of your mind it is something that you have taught your mind to be always calm uh, remain happy yet you are very strong you can fight any situation thrown at you and that is a true meaning of being robust if you are a ceo or a leader of a team these things will really help you if you are robust then you will be able to control your team uh, guide your team inspire your team because you don't want to look like a weak uh, leader you want to look like a bulletproof manager a robust person uh, who can basically help the team when they need them most so therefore think about it friends Ro being robust is a characteristic which needs to be developed and uh, this word is called rational rational is uh, uh, thinking with a right attitude with the right attitude towards life right attitude towards uh, other people and that is called rational so you are having a balanced approach and uh, you don't want to basically decide something on the basis of knee jerk for instance let me give you an example that 
most of the politicians are the most rational people if you uh, if you analyze them because they don't decide anything in a knee jerk reaction because they think about activities they think about the problem they think about the solution 100 times so that they don't want to look like a irrational person irrational means is opposite of rational that means you have taken a decision you have taken a step which is uh, you know not uh, completely thought through and it will have adverse implications so rational again is just a word but the true meaning behind being rational is you are always on the right side of the fence you are able to analyze with all your wisdom and you are able to take the right rational decisions now when you take rational decisions some people may be happy some people may be unhappy but the rational decisions have to be taken for the overall good and that is where the true meaning of being rational comes very powerful word uh, my friend i think this is the most pow powerful word that we can have in our psychology in our character that will help also build our company and reflective another powerful word which is uh, whatever character that you are building up you are building up uh, you are a rational person you are a robust person are a righteous person you are a, a very uh, happy go lucky kind of a person all that has to be shown to the people because uh, you know friends you know that there are two kinds of communication verbal and non verbal so when we are able to showcase your true nature which you have already built that is a non verbal communication you don't have to say that i am a happy go lucky person you have to look like a happy go lucky person so therefore reflective is very very powerful i mean just think about it if you are reflective of your true nature people don't have to even talk to you they will immediately understand what kind of person you are and there are people who are judging you they are watching you and therefore carrying the right body language is important and uh, because you are reflective and uh, when you are carrying the right body language people will understand without you uttering a single word so you don't want to look like a very introvert person you want to look like a a person who value his life live life always happy uh, rational and that is what should be depicted in your body language that means you have to be reflective of your true sense true character the last word in our list today is the most powerful word and that is resilient now resilient is different from being robust robust is something that you can take the onslaught of uh, problems or onslaught of anything which is thrown at you resilient is how long you can survive that onslaught how long you can maintain your robustness is called resilience and this is why being resilient is a very powerful very meaningful word and this is something which you cannot learn you have to go through life and the the uh, you know this has to be learned on the job and sometimes there are very few people who can learn from others mistake as uh, i will like to talk about here that the intelligent person learn from other people's mistake so that he becomes more resilient without going through that experience of uh, you know the, the life experience so uh, again being resilient is a character that you need to develop because uh, that will help you give a uh, lot of strength it will help you uh, uh, become robust and it will also give you longevity because you know let's let's say if you are not well now if you are not resilient your body will also not listen to the brain and you will keep falling and your health keep, will keep falling however people who are more resilient will have better chance of survival in case of terminal diseases now this applies to everything if you have having a bad patch in your business the chances are the resilient people will survive longer they will be able to demonstrate robustness for a longer time 
till the time they are able to turn the tide and bring their company or bring their team uh, in positive. So this is what the true meaning of being resilient. Very powerful words. And friends, if you want to discuss more on this, I look forward to receiving your messages. And uh, we can discuss more on, uh, on any of these words that I have spoken about today. Uh, nevertheless, I always eagerly look forward to receiving your messages. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next edition of Powerful Words. Thank mm -hmm. you.